What's up, what's up, everybody? We're going to be getting into it very shortly. Stick around. New camera. Cannot wait to show it off, baby. Jason, wait for that cutting board cam cut. All right, guys, I'm going to use the restroom and we're going to get started. Here we go.
All my subs, let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Who's ready to rock? Good evening. What's happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show, Season 2, Episode 10. Tonight, we're going to be doing some shrimp pasta. What's happening, everybody? Welcome, 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 welcome. Let's pull up the chat. Let's get the music out the way, way. Welcome in, everybody. How we doing tonight? Babe coming in with 11 months. Thank you, baby. Appreciate it. Pops, what's happening? In it from the beginning. What's going on? What's going on? Jason, moms, Nate, D-O-Dub. What's crack a -lackin', everybody? Welcome in. Welcome in. Super excited for tonight. I got my new camera in like four days ago, and I have been so excited to show it off with you guys tonight. So stoked. This is a big game changer for the stream, guys. Big game changer. Talking quality up the wazoo. I gotta clean this little, uh, little sticky. Sticking this up real quick. There we go. All right, what's going on, everybody? Slow today? Sorry, Nate. All right, guys, you ready for this shit? Check out the new camera, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Look at that quality, y'all. Look at that knife. You can read, you can read the details of the Red Bull. I mean, come on now. Let's go. Let's go. And then of course, camera three. This will be getting upgraded after the next payout. This is still 720. And then your boys. Basically, that's a new version of this camera. So this one will be getting upgraded in, in the future as well. Drew's hands never look so good. Shit. Wait till I get some uh, lotion on those babies. All right, so tonight, guys, we're gonna be doing something that's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, just a matter of executing it with you know, the right ingredients the right amount of an ingredient um, and obviously you know everything needs to be cooked to perfection you don't want anything to be overcooked nothing to be undercooked that pasta has got to be perfectly al dente you know what I mean um, so we're gonna be doing some farfelli pasta tonight which is bow tie pasta for all of you guys that haven't grown up yet um, we're gonna be doing some delicious 1620 count shrimps with it uh, we're gonna be using all sorts of ingredients some fresh Italian parsley uh, we got some fresh oregano we're gonna kind of just toss in there as well for a little bit extra earthiness flavor uh, baby tomatoes organic broccoli zucchini some shallot garlic uh, we are also going to be using our compound butter from our sockeye salmon episode if you guys were there and remember that delicious stick of compound butter we are going to be making our sauce with that and some fresh asiago uh, it's going to be absolutely ridiculously delicious I made a pretty much a version and it's some spinach of course got to have some fresh greens, whether it's kale or, or dandelion greens, whatever you're thinking, you got to have some fresh greens in there. It makes a world of difference. But basically, I uh, made this last night for Kaylee and I. The last couple nights, just been kind of whipping what I got in the house together. Um, so I did, and it was so good. Even Kaylee, I mean, can say it was, like, really, really good. So I was like, you know what? Let's add some shrimp to it tonight, throw in a couple other ingredients, and let's get it going. We got our pasta water on high going we're gonna let that get to a nice boil got it salted i am gonna need a pot of water for the broccoli we're doing little florets in there so let's go ahead and get that started so what's going on everybody happy monday um what's going on what, what y'all eating tonight anyone cooking how was uh how was your guys day happy to see everybody in here it's gonna be a great stream always salt that water Helps bring that water temp up to a boil faster, but also seasoning, you know, getting a little bit of seasoning out the way way. Thanks again for the reset, baby. Did you see my text of the hot dogs? I have not, Pops. I have not. I haven't checked my phone. I've been scrambling, getting everything together. I was having some technical issues with the new camera that uh, Ryan helped me figure out. They stopped by to pick up Nala. I had sushi. Shit, what kind of rolls you get, Jason? Of course you did, bro. I know you're a sushi sushi king, bro. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got our pasta that we're gonna cook off. We gotta get our shrimp going. We're gonna season those babies up. We can probably get those seasoned up and chilling. Um, we got a lot of prep we gotta knock out. We gotta chop the broccoli florets. 
we got to get our zucchini diced up. Um, so let's go ahead and gather some ingredients. We got cheese to shave. But like I said, guys, it's going to be a pretty easy night for the most part, um, dish-wise for you guys. You want to, you know, kind of recreate the dish. It's going to be pretty, pretty ba basic and simple. So um, I encourage you guys to go ahead and try out the dish. You know, feel free to post some pictures. We bout that life. So we got that compound butter. Let's bring that out on the new the new camera. You feel me? Shani, what's going on, baby? Sean, I want to thank you. Um, kind of that that night you dropped a bunch of biddies. You helped me uh, get the new camera for the stream, so I, I appreciate that, brother. You're uh, definitely one to thank for being a part of getting this new beautiful camera in. So check that uh, that compound butter out, guys. That's the one we made for the sockeye salmon. Bomb, huh? All right. I'm gonna keep that on this side away so it stays relatively cool. All right, we got shallot. Where'd I put you? We're gonna need some shallot. So we got our broccoli, zucchini, spinach, garlic, shallot. We got our shrimp. We're gonna season that up and throw it back in the fridge. Lemons, lemons, lemons not forget the lemon. Oregano and parsley we'll keep in the fridge to keep it nice and crisp. But we do need that. So let's go ahead and get our shrimp seasoned and then we'll go from there. Shawnee, what's going on, baby? Thank you, thank you. What do you have for dinner, Sean? Love it. Nice seeing you guys. I'll check that text out in a sec, Pops. Let's go ahead and get a get crack of that in. Oh, nice. They left the tails on and they took the shells off the shrimp already for me. Nice and easy. I like that. Camera link. Um, I can get it. Uh, Jason, it's just the nine, the Logitech nine CC or nine C. Sorry, sorry, C nine two two Pro, whatever. It's like the top one. If you type, um, if you search top you know, best webcam, that's that's what's gonna pop up. I'm loving this. I, I've been so excited to whip this shit out. Alright, so let's drop our scrimps in Ebola. We got our delicious scrimps. Look at that quality. I'm I, I'm beyond excited guys. I can't even explain. Alright. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil. That extra virgin star, best of the best. Obviously, we need some pep. Salt. Grab a couple more seasonings. CC920, yeah, but you want the pro, Jason, the pro. It was on sale on Amazon, Jason for like, uh, I got it for like 80 something bucks. And it was prime, so it showed up like the next day. We're gonna do some dry oregano. So pretty basic seasoning on the shrimp, guys. Salt, pepper, extra virgin, garlic powder, and a little oregano. We're not gonna go crazy, right? They're just gonna go ahead and complement up the, um, complement the pasta. We're gonna mix all that, kinda get that seasoning spread out through all the shrimp, get that oil coated up on it. You know when they're all coated with oil because they look nice and shiny. And after you mix, you get a better idea of if you need to throw a little bit more seasoning on there. So you want to make sure it's evenly distributed throughout all the shrimp. Them scramps. Looking good. I'm going to add a tad bit more pep. A little more garlic powder. Just a little bit more oregano. Getting the last of that one. We're gonna get a little bit more. We got a little brand new oregano that I got at the store today. Always gotta have oregano in that cabinet. You guys are doing something wrong. I'm 
most amazing seasonings you can use. All right, so shrimp tossed together, looking good. J New June in the house. Jackie, how you like that new camera dough? Hey. All right, shrimp's good. We're gonna toss that in the fridge. A little saran wrap. All right, shrimps are in the in, in the in the fridge, chilling. All right, you know what? I'm gonna throw the spinach back in there because we don't need to do anything to it. Um, just like the herbs, always keep your greens as fresh as possible. You know what I mean? Where's Coop Daddy at, Jack? I'm gonna move, move my trash. Little titties? Damn. Talking about me? Alright. Let's get prepped. Let's get our zucchini dice. Loving this cam. Taking off the ends. We are gonna do half. Take off that first little layer, make it square. Do our sheets that we're gonna go ahead and dice up. Perfect. Coop's back on Fortnite game. Yeah, I feel him on that though. Fortnite is brought is actually been brought back to life and is fun again. Alright. So nice small dice in our zucchini. Nice and uniform. Right? Not too small, not too big. Wanted to kind of complement all the uh, rest of the ingredients in the pasta. Zucchini is one of those things that it's you could definitely practice knife cuts on if you're um, a little hesitant about you know how your cuts are and everything because it's very very soft and simple to cut through, so it doesn't take a lot. And I just it's not like you're working with like carrots and stuff where you're kind of like putting a little weight into it kind of freaking yourself out a little bit. Zucchini, squash, eggplant, all delicious, all super easy to work with, super versatile ingredients. All right, beautiful dice on our zucchini. We're gonna slide that off to the side of our cutting board. Water's starting to boil just a tad bit. Camera quality is so good. Thanks, Kui. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm loving this. Couldn't be any happier to be at TBH. All right, next, let's get our broccoli florets prepped and ready because our water is about to come to a, a boil. Our pasta water is at a boil, a nice hard boil. We're going to go ahead and turn that down so we don't cook off all our water. So our broccoli florets, I picked, I just happened to find two little heads of broccoli that were left behind and they're perfect because they're all little florets that I already want so I don't got to break down a big ass you know head of broccoli unless I'm smoking it and look at that I mean <laughs> I couldn't have got any luckier with somebody just kind of ditching that perfect little florets for the pasta And then the ones that don't just break off, I just kind of quarter them because you just want them all about the same size. All right, so I just take that initial stem off, and then some will just kind of fall. So from there, that's where you're going to dictate if you can break it off or if you need to kind of have it or quarter it or do whatever to kind of keep them all the same. 
But yeah, if it's got just one little root stem kind of holding it on, just, just slice that initial stem off and they'll all just kind of release like you just saw. All right, broccoli is just about there. Should be plenty of broccoli. Get ready to drop that in our water in a moment. And clean off all the excess broccoli. Get that excess in the trash. You should do a homemade pizza app. You talking making the dough and everything? We could do that, we could do that. Drew, how the fuck did you dice, do you dice tomatoes? Shawnee, I don't have a, um, I don't got a Roma to slice up for you, but on a couple of my past episodes, there is, if you want to check that, or um, next episode I'll get a tomato, and then if you remind me, I'll show you how to dice it up. So basically, Sean, you want to, I'll give you a quick little rundown. You're going to have your tomato, you're going to cut the, um, you know, the little stem end off flat, cut it in half, and then quarter it. And then you'll see the little seed sticking up on your quarter. You're going to fillet the seeds out so you have like a nice smooth tomato at the bottom. And then you just start dicing from there. You'll slice, turn them, and dice them. Slice and dice, baby. Sammy! My boy Sammy in chat. Sam! What's going on, man? Everybody say what up to our boy Sammy D. Someone give Sammy D a fucking sub right now. Come on. Let's go. Gift our boy Sammy D that sub, that sub arena. All right, let's get our our shallot cracking. Sammy, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Love you, brother. It's been a minute. All right, get our skin off our shallot. What's going on, Sam? How's everything going, brother? Jack McGahey, man. Liz coming through with the the gifted sub to the real Donald Gump. Shit, wrong person. <laughs> well, the real Donald Gump. Welcome to the the family tree. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> That's amazing. <coughs> That's so funny, actually. All right, so we're gonna cut our shallot in half, and then we're gonna do some slices. I like the long stringy uh, shallot in the in the pasta. I think it it complements the bow tie pasta really well. So we're just gonna do some long julienne type cut, right, on our uh, shallot. I just turn the end and give it a little dice. Perfect. All right, so we got our our thin sliced julienne shallot, getting all our ingredients dialed in. We're gonna drop that broccoli about a second. Let's go ahead and do that. We can get our shrimp started. We're gonna par cook it, and then we're gonna we're gonna cook them about thirty percent, forty percent. No, sorry, 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 fifty percent about halfway there, and then we're gonna let them chill, rest, carry over to that three quarter mark, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, finish them off in the pasta. They'll, they'll be folded in, and we'll let them kind of, let the, the shrimp flavor blend, and uh, let them finish cooking off in there so they're not rubbery, they'll be perfectly cooked. New England's up 26 to zip, I got the game on in the background. I'm trying to, you know, stay with the Niners and stay undefeated, but we'll see what happens. Pop's coming through with the gifted sub to my boy Sammy D. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. You didn't let me pick someone. I th you might have done random. Yeah, but I remember that, babe. I remember. <laughs> Been way too long, bro. Wanted to stop in and tell you I love, miss you. Work and life are good, but busy, my dude. I'm going to give you a call soon. Elena and I are moving back to Chio, so I'll be seeing that ass soon. Absolutely, man. I can't wait. Hell yeah, man. You got to come over for an up, man. Come, come see the boy. You have to pick the right side, not the left. Tell her, Pops. Tell her. All right. Broccoli. We're going to cook that off. We're going to blanch it, get that nice vibrant green color. Pasta water is still cracking back there. 
Um, let's go ahead and uh, get our garlic. Garlic done. I'm going to wash my knife off. A little rinse. All right, we got some garlic. That should be that should be enough shallots. I'm not really worried about that. We're gonna slice our baby tomatoes in half. We can do that later, and then we're basically just gonna um, fold them in at the end. I don't know if you guys like cooked tomato. You could add it a little earlier than I'm going to tonight, but personally, I prefer like fresh tomato in hot things. I like the cold freshness of it, so that's why I'm gonna kind of leave it leave it a little bit fresh, just fold it in so it kind of heats up just a tad bit, kind of distributes the flavor out a little bit, just enough. Sammy, it's so good to see you, man. Thank you so much for stopping in, brother. Please do give me a call. Let's get together. It's been way too long. So let's get our garlic mincing kind of started. I'm Italian, so I like a lot of garlic. If you don't like garlic or you're pretty sensitive to it, I'd use about half the amount of garlic I'm using. I'm using five cloves. One of them was exceptionally big, so you can say six regular sized cloves of garlic. So after I do the garlic, we're going to get our shrimp, our shrimp started, and then our broccoli will be finishing up, and then we're, we can drop our pasta as well right when we start the shrimp, and then we're going to pull everything together. We're going to shave our cheese, get our ingredients going right about halfway through the pasta phase. We want to start our shallot and garlic, because those are going to cook down and then we're gonna start adding all of our other ingredients then. We still do gotta chop up some parsley and fresh oregano as well. So we still got, you know, little bits of things to do, but nothing, nothing too crazy. So we got a nice mince in our garlic. Mom, it's Sam Donahue. Sammy, come on, Ma, Sam. Our broccoli florets. We don't want to overcook them. Perfect. Woo! Nice and hot. Drain all that water. Love you, Sammy. All right. Broccoli's out. Chilling. Drain all that broccoli out of my little mesh strainer. Keep dropping my rag. I guess that's not a nice place to have it. All right, guys. So let's get our pasta going, our shrimp going. Let's get cracking. So, for Feli pasta, bow type pasta. <clears throat> All right, pretty. Oh, I'm over here. Bow type pasta. That's what we're gonna be using. Hello. One second. Leave 
just enough for me or you to have for another, another day. Yeah. We got a little, someone wants to say hi to you guys real quick. Turn that pan on low. Hi. Oh, you want to say hello to everybody? Say hi to Sammy. Who's that? What she got? <laughs> oh, you see the bubbles? Say hi to everybody. Then say hi. Say hello. You gonna take a bath? You say hi to everybody. She silly mama. What? Wanna see what we're making? So we got broccoli and pasta, zucchini. Thank you, thank you. Say hi to everybody. All right, bye bye's. Bye bye's. Bye bye's. Love you. little man he said papa tonight he did he said papa tonight he said papa all right that's going we're heating that up let's grab our shrimp take it out we're gonna cook it in a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil and butter together oh you know what we'll use our compound butter for that too it's super super versatile um, we can shave our cheese off in a second. We are going to zest some lemon, so we need to get our zester out. That can go away. Heat up our pan still. We got our parsley and our oregano that we're going to be using very shortly. All right, let's check in with the pan. Low earl. Cutest little ham, he sure is. 26 to zero. All right, Sammy, love you, brother. Take care, hit me up. All right, drop that shrimp in just a moment. Nice and hot, so you can hear that sizzle. My nizzle. I'm gonna do them in batches. So you don't wanna overcrowd your pan. If you do, then you're not gonna get any color on the shrimp really. It's gonna kind of steam them, opposed to get a nice little saute. And I'm going for the saute. I'll finish them all in butter together. Sounds good, Sammy. Peace out, Girl Scout. All right, so the shrimp, shrimp is a kraken, literally. Can't wait to get a 1080p over here, baby. That's when it's gonna get crazy. Get some tongs. Looks like we're running the dishwasher tonight. Looks like 90% of my stuff is dirty. All right, we're getting a good little crust on them. Absolutely. Oh yeah, we're gonna let them go for another stack on this side. And we'll flip them. Flip, dip them, and flip them. Oh no, is it more? Is it less reflective with that off? Better. No, no. Nate Dio Dub coming in with the 300 biddies. Thank you so much for the bits, Nate Dog. Yeah, I saw that pops. I just took the lid off. 
they're boiling a little bit too hard there. All right, so let's flip them. Oh yeah. But oh, the crust is perfect on these babies. Look at that crust. All that seasoning. Oh my goodness, that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna get a little plate ready to put them on. We'll put them in the HD cam for you guys. Get our cheese ready. Gotta grab my good grater. Ugh. Thanks again, Nate. I appreciate the bits, brother. Can't wait to see you guys again whenever that be. We missed the heck out of you guys. Alright, so we got a little, a little bit of a, what cheese do I want to do, or which grade, that's too small, maybe we'll go medium, yeah that'll be good, alright let's check back in, check our shrimp out, we're probably just about done, Yep. We'll take those off. Finish them in butter with the other ones, right when those are done. Put them over here for you guys so you can check them. Right after we get the second batch started. I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit more oil. Batch number two. All right. Our boy Tyler still hasn't sold his food truck. Has a price down to 37K. Why did he, he ended up not going through with it? What was going on, Pop? What happened? Wasn't working out in that area or what? Watch that. Let's go on over to our shrimp. We got our beautiful crusted shrimp. Hey, thanks for the 200 biddies, Rai Rai. Who wins the World Series? Houston all day. Face Jug. Oh, you cooked those beautifully. Thank you very much, Face Jug. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Everybody welcome in Face Jug. Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes and chat for Face Jug. Thank you for joining us tonight. All right. Shrimp for crusted up already. Looking beautiful. So what I'm doing guys is I'm gonna turn the pan down to about low, medium low. Gonna let it cool while the rest of those finish. And then we're gonna pop the rest in and we're gonna hit it with some butter, that compound butter that we made. LeBron Ames, that looks real good. I can even smell it from here. Wow, baby, I love it. Let's welcome in LeBron. I'm gonna call you LeBron. Welcome in. Everybody welcome in LeBron Ames. Thank you guys for joining in the channel. Pop's coming through with a gifted T1 sub for Face Jug. Face Jug, welcome to the family tree. Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes and chat, ladies and gentlemen, and go ahead and welcome in LeBron. Bron Bron. Okay. Pasta still going. Our shrimp is just about to be uh, about to be thrown in with the butter. So in that compound butter, guys, if I remember correctly, dill, parsley. Garlic, shallot, lemon zest, salt, pepper, garlic powder. I don't remember if there's anything else I'm missing, but that's pretty much the gist of it. 
All right, let's check back in. Shrimp's perfect, so flame's nice and low. So what we're gonna do, throw our shrimps back, grab a nice slice of that compound butter that I was just talking about. Looks like I'm gonna have to just go hard. Throw a couple bricks of that in there. Like I said, this compound butter is so versatile, guys. You literally can use it with chicken, fish, pork, steak, whatever. It does not matter. Pops coming in with another gifted sub to LeBron Ames. Welcome to the family tree. Let's get some more Cousin Drew emotes for LeBron. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, Pops. Too generous, I swear. All right, so now we just want to let them coat up in that compound butter that we're going to be using for our sauce. <laughs> Look, check this out, y'all. We'll go to the HD. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let them soak in that butter. We're gonna let these babies chill out on our plate in that butter. Looking magnificent to Pops coming in with another gifted sub to Janu Jr. Thank you, Jackie, for rejoining. Thanks, Pops, for gifting it. A um, hundred biddies from LeBron Ames. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very, very much. You guys are way too off the charts generous tonight. Can't thank you guys enough. So it looks like our pasta is just about there, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start sweating down our aromatics. We're gonna chop up our herbs and we're gonna start combining our pasta. It's not gonna be too crazy long of an episode tonight, guys. Nice, simple, easy dish. Absolutely executed perfectly what we're going for. Yeah, the shrimp, I mean like, you know, you've had my shrimp, mom, where I do my, my you know, my my marinade, right? And that's, that's fire, but nice, simple coating, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and oregano to kind of let the shrimp, you know, flavor speak itself, speak for itself. I mean, you can't go wrong. You just don't want to under season it because then it's just kind of bland. Let's go ahead and just taste one of our pastas, see exactly where we're at before we grab our next pot. Right under al dente. We'll let it go a little bit longer. My man Ian, what's going on? Welcome in, everybody welcome in Ian. What's going on, brother? All right, so we're gonna heat up a new pan, which we're gonna get our uh, shallot and garlic and our zucchini going. Let's grab our tomatoes and our spinach. All these will be going in as well. So we're using our baby mixed colored tomatoes. We can start slicing those up a little bit. Get, get them all halved and ready. Let's see, where can I? I gotta pull up the can. Let's move this down. Let's get our shrimp here. We'll do our tomatoes there. Let's move that garlic, because that'll be getting used in a sec. Remember, stay nice and organized, guys. It makes things a lot easier. Just kind of sliding things over, right? Looking perfect. Wash off the garlic from my knife before I do these tomatoes. Garlic has a tendency to kind of stick to your uh, cutting instrument, whatever it be. So, just give it a little rinse. Camera quality is fire. Thanks, Jackie. I'm so stoked. I can't wait to get one for the stove. I think after I get the next Twitch payout, I'm gonna get the camera for the stove, and then um, I'll wait a minute for the for the main cam because that's still a nice 1080p. But I do want to upgrade it to a pro. I mean, the quality is just absolutely insane. Looks like I reached in and grabbed all orange, so I'm gonna do a couple more orange, and then I'm gonna throw these back. All right, so we got our big big pan. Nice coating of oil. Pasta's finishing up nicely. 
I'm going to slide this forward. Let's go back to our tomatoes. We got some other colors rocking. Want more of those baby reds too. Oh yeah, there we go. One, two. I need like one more baby red. Come on, there we go. Perfect. So, nice little slice through. Okay. Got our tomatoes ready. So, you guys want to get a little bit of a um, a little bit of our uh, topic game going for the rest of the stream? All right, pan's nice and hot. We haven't done any any topics tonight. I think now's a good time to start, Jackie. If you want to start that off, finish out with a little bit of our topic game. I think it's a fun little thing for you guys. So, shallot down, some salt. Favorite barbecue meal, Nate coming in swooping. Favorite barbecue meal. Are you talking about ingredients? If I was to go to a barbecue place, like what I would order, like on um, off the whole menu, or are you talking about like, like what you mean? Like if if you're talking what about what I think you mean, I'm going pulled pork either chicken and, or tri-tip, um, definitely a side of a hot link, and then you always gotta try potato salad and beans, or macaroni salad if they, you know they got a good macaroni. Barbecue ribs, yeah, you know, ribs are pretty pretty hard to pass off too, that's for sure. All right, so we want our shallot to start getting a little color, then nice medium flame starting to caramelize just a tad bit. I'm going to check on the pasta one more time. I think it's probably about done. We're going to strain that into our coriander, corian, corian, whatever the hell they're called. Yep. Pasta's perfect. Let me get this pan out of here. as you go baby it only helps you at the end all right I'm gonna grab my strainer if I use the big pot I use the big boy because I can set it down and strain out the, the liquid it always works out better uh, I'm gonna go shallots are nice and crisp looking perfect let's drop our garlic in there And our zucchini, both cook quick, so we're gonna add both of those in together. A little bit more oil, cause the shallot kind of soaked up the rest. We got our perfectly, consistently diced zucchini. A little bit more salt and pep. Add a tad bit more oil. Let those go. Smoked brisket? Oh yeah. I love me some good brisket too. I just, I'll, I'll eat anything barbecue. I'm a huge barbecue fan, so. Absolutely anything you throw my way barbecue wise. There's not much things that smell <laughs> as good as shallot when it starts to kind of caramelize up the smell that it gives off is fire Jackie I know you're a tri-tip girl so I have my pasta strained guys I'm gonna pour a little olive oil over it um, and then I'm gonna mix it and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm not throwing it straight in yet um, and I don't want it to come you know get all sticky when you take pasta out if you don't oil it or anything it gets extremely sticky so I just threw a little oil, I'm gonna to toss it in my colander, and I'm just gonna let it sit. But now it's not gonna, you know, get get all sticky on me. All right, we're gonna get our herbs chopped in a moment. 
We got the garlic and our zucchini cooking up nicely. Broccoli will get added in there too momentarily. All right, looking good. Cheese is already shaved. We got our butter ready to go for our sauce. I'm gonna keep that over there. Kind of organ reorganize a couple things in the kitchen. You guys check that uh, little saute out real quick. So tomatoes are going in last, guys, remember. We don't need those right now. Spinach will be getting thrown in very soon. Got to turn that flame on way higher. So the garlic's not crisp enough and the zucchini as fast as I want. So always have a nice little idea of your, your heat gauge going. All right, so. Some Italian parsley. Next topic, ladies and gentlemen. What's the next topic? Anyone's open to start a new topic. Garlic oil is releasing. Zucchini's cooking up. Perfect. Let's drop our broccoli in there. Let's get some spinaca added to the mix. Spinach shrinks down a lot, so we're dumping a lot in there because that's going to turn into nothing. Let me tell you. Now we got some tongs. I like to kind of fold all the other ingredients on top of our spinach, help it kind of cook down and wilt. Perfect. I'll let that cook down. I'm gonna season it up a little more. Some salt, pep. Remember, layers and layers of seasoning. A little more oil for all the new ingredients involved. Okay, so our spinach is cooking down nicely. Perfecto. Bounce back to our oregano. Fortnite with pasta. Ryan, what's up, baby? What's going on? Pops gifting a sub out to Ryan. And to Alien, welcome guys to the family tree. Pops, thank you so much for all the gifted subs, man. You're out of control. Thank you, thank you. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat for all the newcomers to the family tree tonight. Great to have you guys. All right, so I'm just gonna take some of the oregano leaves off. Um, we're just gonna do like a nice little rough chop on them. They're gonna kind of get folded in there for extra flavor. We're not dicing it like the parsley. We're literally just doing a nice little rough chop on it. Don't need too much. All right. Perfect. Let's go back. All right. Perfect. Everything's looking good. Perfect. All right. So now it's going to get fun. We're going to add our pasta. Shrimp. 
There's nothing else on the stove you need to see. You just need to see the pot. Just that one pan. That's all you need. how much I'm working with. A little residual for some leftover for lunch for Kaylee tomorrow. Perfect. Alright. Now we're going to intertwine all our ingredients together. We're going to add our tomatoes like I said. Oh, I, I, I did it on purpose. I did, the shrimp is just, uh, you know, just a little topper. I wasn't about to drop a bunch of money on the shrimp tonight. But I, I see what you're saying. Typically, if I had the money, I'd add a little bit extra in there. I'm going to hit a little garlic powder on top. We're going to add our cheese. Get some of our compound butter. Build our little compound butter cheese sauce. I'm gonna put the plate the shrimp on top. I just want the flavor to kind of blend in, you know what I mean? Alright, we're going to melt down that butter and our cheese, let that come together, finish it with some olive oil, you got to check the seasoning. It's about four shrimps each, we're going to just be putting right on top after we intertwine all that flavor. Alright, let that kind of go. Makes me want to make a plate, right? I'm telling you, bro. It smells delicious in here. I know, I know, I know. Red pepper, it gets finished in red pepper. Don't worry, that's my, like one of my favorite ingredients in it, so don't worry. So like I said, the oregano, we're just doing a little bit because we already have dry, enough dry oregano in this recipe. We just want a little bit of um, the fresh earthiness of the, of the you know, fresh ingredient opposed to the dry where it's more of like a strong, super strong aroma. This is a little bit more subtle but more earthy. So just a nice rough chop, not too much. That's going right in with the parsley. And then we can't forget our lemon. We need some lemon juice and some zest. Lemon juice is in. We're going to do some zest. Sorry, I'm not really looking at chat at the moment. I'm trying to finish this up and then we'll get all caught up. Alright, some zest in the house. Lemon zest goes a long way. All right, one last little toss and we're ready to plate up. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, cabs are here. Let's go. So we got a little bit more remaining cheese and parsley for the plate up. We'll do a little more red pepper on the plate up too. First plate up on the new camera, ladies and gentlemen. You ready to rock? Yes, I am. I'm gonna rinse off the knife, get that out the way. We're gonna move our cutting board and we're gonna plate up in front of the new high def cam. Tony, what a difference, right guys? You're gonna, we're gonna have to go back some point when you guys watch a past episode on YouTube. All you newcomers too, check the YouTube. We got all sorts of, uh, we got like 59 episodes on there now. Check the YouTube, check the new episodes, or the old episodes, and wait till you see the difference in the camera quality for the cutting board up until today. Huge. All right, heat's off. We're gonna wipe up our plating area, nice and clean. Never ever plate up in a, a dirty area. It's against the laws of the kitchen. Always gotta be nice and clean. All right. What are you guys thinking? You want me to wash these white bowls? You guys want to do white bowls? Or do you want to do gray plate? Or white plate? Thinking either bowl or gray plate. What are you guys thinking? Hurry up though, because I got to wash these bowls if you want the bowls. What are you thinking, everybody? Bull, bull, bull. Bull it is. I was thinking bull too, though, low key. Loked out 805. What's going on with the bull? All right, you got it. Everyone, welcome in Loked out 805. Thank you so much for stopping by. Do we know in person? Do we know each other? I feel like we do. Who are you? If you don't mind saying. No, we're not doing black. My black plates are gone, Ma. I don't, those are some cheap ass black plates. We're not, I'll eventually get some new, some new way better uh, quality black plates and stuff, but that's gonna be in some due time. All right. Plates are all cleaned up. We're gonna be nice and shiny. Loped out, who are you, bro? I know you, I know you, I know that I do. I just don't know who. <laughs> Pops coming in, eight, the 28th gifted sub to the channel. Thanks, Dad. Welcome, loved out to the family tree, my man. Welcome, welcome. Dad, you're out of control today. Thank you. Sam in Dallas? Oh, my God. What's going on, Sam? What's up, Dallas? <laughs> you would choose that name. That's incredible. All right, let's get cracking, y'all. All right, bowls in position. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be perfect. All right. I wanna pull my shrimp. Grab a plate. Let's pull the shrimp out. So we're gonna put those on top. But we needed all that delicious shrimp flavor to get blended in to the pasta, which is why we, we kept it in there. And it also, you know, made the pos uh, the shrimp look a lot better. You got all the red pepper flakes and parsley and everything kind of thrown on there. Has the glaze from the butter, cheese. Is that all of them? Or am I tripping? You guys up in SF, Sam? All right. Shrimp's out. We're going to get ready to toss those babies in. Mafia pasta bowls, they are they are Italian pasta bowls, Pop, so pretty much are exactly what you're saying. <laughs> right. Yum. Um. Smells incredible. Got some fresh tomato in there. Everything's got to, it's got to have everything, right? Uh-oh. Caden's in trouble. He just got told to knock it off. <laughs> All right. We're gonna have some leftovers for tomorrow. 
Kaylee gonna have some pasta for lunch. So that compound butter, guys, like I was saying, for those of you guys that weren't in here earlier, um, we made that on the sockeye salmon episode that is on the YouTube. Um, it's a delicious butter that we made, you know, on the stream. So that's what we're using for the sauce tonight with the cheese. Um, super, super delicious. So there's a lot of flavor coming from just that. All right. Bowls looking good. We're going to add um, some more fresh cheese on top. Some sha fresh shaved Asiago. Asiago is one of my favorite cheeses. It's like my mother. All right. More fresh Italian parsley. Gotta have that. Really makes it pop. Okay. Where are my red peps at? Red pepper flake. What is it? How many shrimp? Oh, it's five each. Not four each. I lie. Stay up. Stay up, bit. Go. Just kind of flaring the shrimp around the pasta. All the tails going the same direction. I'm gonna do that one in the center, kind of standing up. I move back down. No shit, really. No more Bay Area life for you. What the heck? Thought you were staying up there forever. I absolutely thought you were staying up there forever, Sam. You were about that life. All right. Whew. Marron. Looking good. Looking good, good, good. Oh, shrimp down. Come on. There we go. Oh, this one fell too. Just need a tomato right there. All right, there we go. Looking good, looking good. How's it looking on the new camera, guys? No more, fam, I thought so too. <laughs> Amazing. Sweet. All right, let me uh, let me snap a quick little photo. Tonight's pasta for the gram, for all the other social medias, the website. Everyone check out the YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Oh yeah, this is looking, it's looking fire. All right, got a bunch of pics. All right, guys. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that plating cam anymore because the quality over here is just a thousand times better. So there we go. Absolutely delicious. I'm excited to eat that. Woo -hoo. I'm gonna let you guys stare at that for another second while I move this, and then um, we're gonna do our we're gonna go through all of our thanks for our new subs and everything like that. You know what? For everyone new in chat tonight, let's go ahead and take a little shot of Ruski. We haven't had, we didn't have one last stream. Nate totally called me out when I rewatched it, and I totally missed it. So cheers, everybody! All you newcomers, everyone in here tonight. Um, we're already back up at 25 subs. We dropped down to 15 last week because um, our month ran out. So um, yeah, we're already back at 25. Thanks everybody for the subs, pops. Thanks for all the gifted subs. Absolutely incredible. Cheers. All right, guys, let's go through it. Well, first off, for everyone in here new, we got our farfelli pasta with a um, compound butter sauce. We got some fresh lemon zest, garlic, sliced shallot, spinach, broccoli, 
chopped zucchini, our baby tomatoes, and of course our delicious sauteed shrimp thrown in there for you guys. Absolutely delicious, super stoked. Um, let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat, everybody. Let's go. Rack them up, all my subs. Back to 25 subs, guys. Absolutely incredible. This is my favorite meal he's made. Again, he says that every show. <laughs> all right, let's go through it. Let me get my stream labs up. Didn't even realize that I didn't even have that or my Nightbot open. Nightbot was doing its thing, though. All right. So thanks again, guys, for spending your Monday night with me. I appreciate it, you guys all being here. It's always a pleasure. Sam and Dallas, thank you guys for stopping by. All right, so um, Kaylee, thanks, babe, for that resub. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Pops coming in with the gifted sub for Sammy D. List gifting uh, the real Donald Gump, which is super ironic that you gifted that person. Nate D.O. Dub, Ryan, thank you guys for the bits. Um, Face Jug, LeBron, J um, Jackie, welcome back and welcome guys. Ryan, Alien, um, and Sam, thank you guys so much. Uh, welcome back into the family tree. Pops, thank you for the gifted subs. We do appreciate that. Um, let's get everyone that's a sub. Now you have access to the Cousin Drew emotes. I am currently working on the new emote, so give me some time. Jackie, I might need a little bit of your help. If you're available, you let me know. Um, but we do got some new um, emotes coming for you subs in chat, so super excited. Let's pan on over to our dish one more time for you guys. Can't wait to dig in. Um, like I said, guys, check it out on the gram. Um, you know what I mean? Go check out the high def pictures that we'll post after the stream. I am super excited and happy with the way that our uh, new camera worked out. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I think that brings a whole new level to the stream quality wise. Um, that was one thing that I was super disappointed about um, with the new setup and moving out here and starting again was that cutting board camera. I absolutely could not stand it. I'm a perfectionist with the things I do. Um, Sue got owned by Nightbot. Shh, watch out. She, she don't take it. She don't take those subliminals. Um, but I was super disappointed in how blurry it was. And it was just that 720p quality. I mean, you're looking at me in 1080 all day and then I switch over to that. And it just does not cut it. Either does that one. Still not good enough quality for me over there. So we'll be doing little upgrades, but I think it's a whole nother level to the stream that just, you know, completely boosted. So um, thanks again, guys. Everybody have a great night. We're going to do our little intro, outro video. We're getting out of here. Got you guys in here, in and out in an hour and 15 tonight. Bravo, bravo. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. We'll be back here on Wednesday night, guys, for episode 11. Stay tuned for what that is. I'll be going over that tomorrow. Um, Alien, thank you for the follow. All you guys in chat new and you're enjoying your time, uh, go ahead and follow the stream. Everyone, welcome Alien. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Everyone have a great night. Um, enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your week. We'll be back here Wednesday, um, 7 p.m., baby. You know where to find me. Have a great night, guys. Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, all my subs, some uh, Cousin Drew emotes in chat. Hump day on Wednesday? Shit.